This is a Barnes & Noble Nook Color. Its intended purpose is for reading ebooks, but with a nice little hack you can turn it into a full-fledged Android tablet with some surprising capabilities. Now, there's two methods of doing this. The first method is the boot disk method. It doesn't harm your Nook Color at all, and it will let you run versions of Android Froyo and Android Honeycomb. So if you're curious about what Android Honeycomb looks like and what it does, you can click this link to try the boot disk method. But this video is for the more adventurous. We'll be replacing the Nook Color software with Cyanogen Mod. A version of Android tweaked specifically for the Nook Color and other devices. Not only does it install Android, but it also unlocks some features that are hidden in the store bought version of the Nook that were never activated, such as Bluetooth support, overclocking, and USB support, turning it into a really nice Android tablet. Before starting, make sure you have at least a 2GB micro SD card or larger. Insert the SD card into your computer, open up a web browser, and download and unzip a copy of disk image. This will burn bootable image files onto your SD card, allowing us to bypass the default Nook Color boot image. The one that we'll be using is called the Clockwork Recovery image, which will allow us to install Cyanogen Mod. Download and extract the image file and burn it to your SD card using the Disk Imager program. Then before you eject your SD card, you want to download the latest version of Cyanogen Mod for the Nook, which you can find here. Also, scroll to the bottom of this page and download the Cyanogen Mod 7 version of Google Apps. Without unzipping either one of them, put both of them directly onto your newly imaged SD card. Now you can inject it and insert it into your powered off Nook Color and boot it up until you see this screen. Using the volume buttons, highlight Install Zip from SD Card and hit the End button to select it. Then choose Choose Zip from SD Card and select the Update Cyanogen Mod file first. Choose Yes to install it and wait for it to finish. When it's through, choose to install the GApps zip file next. And after you have both of them installed, remove the SD card and reboot your Nook. After a few minutes, you should see the home screen. And to make up for a lack of navigation buttons, you'll see a toolbar at the bottom that you can use for navigation. You'll notice that you don't yet see any Google Apps installed. So what we can do to fix that is add your Google account to the system so that you can connect to the Android market. Make sure that you have a good Wi-Fi connection and go to Settings, Accounts, and add your Google account. Upon completion of this, the app market should pop up and you can install Gmail, YouTube, and whatever else you want. To enable the hidden Nook features, a key app you want to get is called Nook Color Tweaks. When you download and launch this app, you'll be able to overclock your Nook if you want, as well as crank up the default audio. But more importantly, you can set up USB hosting, which lets you plug USB devices into your Nook. What you need to make this work is a USB adapter like this and a USB hub. Then just plug in your USB device or devices and check both of these boxes. After a few seconds, you should be able to see some activity. If you plugged in a USB drive, you can go to your file explorer and under mount you'll find a USB drive folder that lets you access the files. You can also hook up a mouse. Yes, a mouse will work, as well as a keyboard. But last but not least, you can enable Bluetooth, even though the Nook Color doesn't ship with Bluetooth capabilities. It still has the Bluetooth chip on it. So after enabling Bluetooth, you can connect any Bluetooth devices for a short distance. With everything considered, why would you want to do this? Because you could probably buy a cheap little Android tablet, but if you're a hardware hacker or an avid do-it-yourselfer, this is a relatively cheap way to make a really decent tablet. Alright, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.